All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, simplified ratios or how to simplify a ratio. And you'll remember that in the previous ratio videos, I mentioned that um, when we're talking about ratio, we're talking about one thing being compared to another. We're talking about the relationship. We're talking about the connection between the two uh, things we're comparing. All right. So when we simplify ratios, we're, uh, the numbers get smaller, but uh, how the two numbers are related stays the same. Okay, we're just talking about making the numbers smaller, but we're not changing how those numbers are connected. All right, so I'll just uh, check my pen. Okay, great. So we have uh, two things that we're going to compare here. We have nine cars. These are my cars. And uh, three drivers. All right, so we can describe this relationship, these two things, as being 9 to 3. Okay, so the ratio of cars to drivers is 9 to 3. You should also remember that in a previous video I said we could also talk about this relationship by comparing the drivers to the cars. So if we did that, we would say that um, the ratio of drivers to cars is 3 to 9. Okay? So let's have a, let's uh, just take this uh, ratio here, this description. We've got nine to three. Okay, so when you simplify a ratio, it's very much like simplifying a fraction. You just find the greatest common uh, factor that goes into both of these numbers, and you uh, just calculate from there. So. Uh, we can say that 3 is the greatest common factor because 3 obviously goes into itself, but it also goes into 9 evenly. So whatever I do to uh, one number, I have to do to the other. So we'll simplify this ratio by saying uh, 9 divided by 3 gives me 3. Okay, 9 divided by 3 gives me 3. And I have to do the same thing to the 3 here, so 3 divided by 3 gives me 1. Alright, so this is the simplified ratio of this, and even though these numbers here are smaller, they still describe the same relationship that we have over here. Alright, we've still got for every set of 3 cars we have one driver so three cars to one driver okay again three cars to one driver and three cars to one driver all right this still describes the same relationship as this one all right it's the same it's just simplified. Okay. All right. So let's uh, have a couple of practice questions and see how you go. Let's suppose uh, we've got uh, four shoppers to 16 shops. And let's suppose we've got uh, seven buses and we've got 49 riders and we've got 12 cars and we've got 84 parking spaces okay so I'd like you to simplify those stop the video simplify them and then see uh, what you got Remember, you're looking for the greatest common factor, the largest number that goes into both sets of numbers. Okay? Good luck. Okay. You should have stopped the video and tried working these out, so let's just uh, see how you did. Again, we're looking for the greatest common factor that goes into both of these numbers, and the greatest common factor that goes into 4 and 16 is, of course, 4. So we can divide 4... 
by 4, which gives me 1. And 16 divided by 4 is going to give me 4. Okay, so my simplified ratio is 1 to 4. Let's have a look at this one. The greatest common factor I can use is, again, 7. Okay, so 7 divided by 7 will give me 1. And 49 divided by 7 will give me 7. So 1 to 7. And our last one here, 12 into 84. Sorry, 12 to 84. The greatest common factor is, again, 12. So 12 goes into itself once. And into 84, how many times? 7. Okay. It obviously I, I say this in many videos, but it, it always helps to know your times tables. So if you don't know your times tables, please take the time to memorize them, learn them, because it makes working out your math is like in situations like this so much easier. Alright. Good luck.